Hey guys, I'm Lee from Lee Likes Music, the place to share, explore, and learn about rock music from Bandcamp. And today we're going to take a look at David Besson's newest album, which is called Care. So that's coming up. So David Besson is a 41-year-old uh, singer-songwriter from Seattle, US. His music has been going here and there over the years. He has been creating uh, indie rock, uh, garage rock. He has later on during his past two solo releases, his newest albums, he went within the genres of electronic music, electronic folk, electronic indie music. And uh, to be honest, this is a bit of a, um, this is something different compared to what I'm usually doing. I'm trying to stick to the rock genre. But to be honest, this album was just too good to go away from. So if you only listen to rock music, try to be a little bit open-minded, try to listen to this album, and um, yeah, you won't regret it. Hopefully you won't, okay? So Care is David Besson's fifth solo effort. Um, it has definitely a lot of similarities to his previous solo album, which is called Blanco. It was released uh, last year in 2016. And the reason why these albums are similar is because they both uh, die within the genres of electronic folk music and uh, this pop rock vibe, especially Blanco. He started experimenting with these, these genres for the first time, it seems. And also on his newest album, Care, which we're talking about today, his sound seems a little bit more refined. It seems like he took that experimentalism of electronic music and he improved it. He made it a little bit more conformed, a little bit more, I don't know, he created his own style. And that is what came into fruition or fru fruition, fruition. I don't know how that word is, <laughs> is, is said, but you get what I mean. That is what happened on his newest album that we're talking about now. Now the album Care, consists of 10 different tracks and all of the different tracks on this album kind of easily glides into each other. And the reason why I'm telling you this, the reason why I think and feel this way about this album is because Bassan is basically using the same musical arrangement, the same instruments, the same components in almost every single one of the tracks without being uh, repetitive. What I think Bassan is really good at is creating and crafting these very enticing melodies. He creates very um, uh, wholehearted and intimate lyrics. He also, he also has this very um, enchanting way of putting moods into his songs, which I have never heard before, or at least, you know, you don't come over this in many artists nowadays. So I think that his newest album, Care, is super authentic. I think it's cohesive as hell. I think it is really fresh. And uh, you know, I could just end the review right here without actually getting into any of the songs because now I basically told you what I think about the album, but I wanna get, get a little bit in depth into some of the songs I liked. Uh, as well. So here's a little preview of the first song, which is called Care. This is the first track of the whole album and uh, it starts with these two synths playing. They play this very sad melody. During the pre-chorus, the beat is coming in and uh, it is a digitally created beat with this sneer that is kind of echoing into the background. That is, it is really adding a lot to the mood actually. In general, I feel like it is a very simplistic song like many of the other songs on this album. It has the small alterations from verse to chorus, but although there are small alterations, although there's not a lot of versatility here, I still feel like this song is very, very good. At most, there are three layers of synth, there are some drums here, there are noises in the background, and there's also Bassan's vocals on top of these. 
I actually think that Bassan's vocals sound a little bit like uh, Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails. I don't know if you guys uh, can relate to, <laughs> to that, but I feel like there's something about the timbre, something about the deepness of Bassan's voice that is kind of resembling Trent Reznor's voice a little bit. Lord, my path is gone astray. Lyrically, Care is also a very interesting song. I remember in one of the interviews that um, Bassan did, he actually mentioned that the lyrics are about this couple who are attracted... They're not a couple. They are two people, two friends. They are attracted to each other. But because they have significant others, they have to deny this attraction, this lust that they have for each other. And as we can all imagine, I guess, and as some of us can even relate to, it must be really hard to have feelings for other people outside of the relationship that we already have. It must be really heartbreaking and it must, I don't know, lead to, I don't know, personally, I can't relate to this, so, uh, <laughs> so I can't really say that much, but what I think it can offer you is a lot of pain. That is at least what I get from this song. I love the despairing moods of Care. I love the lyrics here. The overall cadence of the song also really gets to me. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. The second track that I really liked a lot is actually the second track off of the album. It's called Up All Night. It launches very quickly into this very rich melody. It has this positive, uh, mood to it. It also gives me this feeling of inspiration and uh, I start to imagine Bassan when he was crafting this song It almost seems like he went into the zone where he became nostalgic and reminiscent early on in the song he sings schools out forever and later on he also sings summer ain't just for teachers so maybe this is him remembering times when he used to live with his parents when he used to go to school and he had summertime and he had vacation and he could finally relax from all of the stress and and the conformed ideas of school life. I don't know. Specifically, this is just my idea, but specifically I think that he is trying to capture this confusion of growing up as a teenager and how summertime is kind of like an escape where he can actually get a breather and relax and find his and, and collect his thoughts. Another thing, another factor that I also loved about the song is that it's very short, like many of the other songs on this album. And uh, if you create a good song lyrically, sonically, and you have some mood that is resonating with people, then if you drag it out too much, it might be too long. <laughs> that is at least what I've experienced after listening to a lot of music. And uh, if you shorten the song, like Bassan is doing here, I think the song is about three or four minutes, then it just adds more replay value. You wanna play it over and over and over again, and that's exactly what I feel with this song, uh, Up All Night. So I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. The third song that I really, really loved a lot on this album is the fourth track. It's called Sparkling Water. It has kind of a similar mood to the first track, Care, because it has this very sad and depressive atmosphere about it. It also gives me this sense of hopelessness. Although the lyrics aren't really direct and concrete, I think that it has something to do with cheating. It's at least about some type of hardship that I think Bassan has experienced himself by being in a relationship. Near the end of the song, he sings, I don't keep secrets. I don't want to be alone. And um, yeah, <laughs> that kind of explains it all, doesn't it? Maybe his girlfriend kept a lot of secrets and he just wanted to tell her, you know, I don't keep any secrets and you shouldn't do the same. I don't want to be alone and hopefully you don't want to be alone either. Hopefully we can be in a relationship together. Maybe that was what went through his thinking, I don't know. Again, we have this simple, um, lineup of different components and instruments. There's also a mix here between uh, live instruments, live percussion, and 
uh, electronically composed uh, sounds, and I really love this mashup. It really adds uh, another level, another dimension kind of to the overall sound image. And again, the mood, the sound, uh, the lyrics are very heartfelt here, so I'm gonna give the song an eight out of 10. Now, the final, the fourth track that I love the most is the sixth track off of the album. It is called Make Music. Here's a little um, introduction to that song. Didn't we make music? Didn't we make music? Didn't we always risk our hearts to do this? Here is quite striving, it is sad, but at the same time, it's quite up tempo. Instrumentally, it has different layers of synth, it has drums, vocals that change uh, gradually as the song unfolds. It is again a very static song, it doesn't have these dynamic highs and lows, but it's still a good song, it's still a great melody. I love the fact that it is so driving, so uh, powerful and only it only goes straight forward and I don't know in, in this occasion it actually worked very very well lyrically what I got from the song is that this is another love song about heartbreak what you know how it hurts and what actually happens when you are in a hurtful relationship with another person I mean listen to the last verse for example this is literally what can happen in a relationship like that he sings uh, didn't we always vote for love when our friends were breaking up and they'd go to see a counselor to find it's not enough? Didn't we hope it wouldn't come for us when adulthood, sorry, called our bluff when we tried to turn our volume down and muddle through the hush? So sometimes in relationship, we tend to keep the obvious problems down. We try to hush it away. We try to keep it silent, but that oftentimes just make it worse, like Bassan is telling us here. So yeah, another great song. I really encourage you guys to listen to uh, all of these tracks. I'll try to keep some links below in the description so that you can check them out. Uh, but yeah, Make Music, the eighth track, I'll give this one an eight out of 10. And yeah, that pretty much closes this review down. Uh, I think I'll give this album an eight out of 10. The other tracks were also really good. These were the ones that I loved the most, but I think I'll give the other ones like from six to eight out of 10 as well, um, because there really isn't that many uh, bad songs on this album. This is really a really good effort from Bassan, um, and I'm really looking forward to checking out more of his discography as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. If you like to share, explore, and learn about rock music from Bandcamp, then I highly suggest you click the red subscribe button below because that is what we're doing here. I'm basically sharing the best of rock music with you guys from the Bandcamp platform. Also, if you've listened to Bassan's music before, if you listened to this album, let me know what you guys think about it by commenting down in the comments below. Thank you again for watching guys. Hope to see you later. Bye. From, fuck, I just lost my papers. I just lost my papers. This is off to a great start.